Alright guys, jumping into the tournament for Tech Find and Rename Card. So we are, uh, well we're really going for Tech Find. We are taking on the Kill Kabi, Squad Ogori is taking on the Ronso Fangs, and Keepa is too experienced away from a level up, so even though, oh actually no anti-wither on Nizrut. That should afford us a little bit of experience for Keepa, like attempting shots at Nizrut, and get him to the, uh, the next level. I don't know, I really thought we'd see a massive jump, but what, what we're seeing more often than not is keeping it like two or three shoot up every single every single level, which is a massive jump in general, but not the jump I expected to see. I expected to see like 10, 15 shoot go up, so it could still happen because, I mean, Keepa is supposedly supposed to um, hit the point where he gets 99 shoot, so, and, and we haven't seen it yet, so it should happen soon one day maybe it should it should happen so yeah we're gonna wither Nizrut's catch regardless and then Colkin will claim the ball potentially fingers crossed we'll be able to set up Keepa for an attempt on goal we'll see unfortunately Colkin is gonna bait Keepa away and what this is gonna do is this is gonna make it so Keepa's not in the position to actually score and if I pass to Keepa here he's not gonna do anything of value like this is the this is kind of the bummer portion of it. Like it kind of just sucks because Keepa gets put in bad situations, and then we got to resolve it. Like we got to figure out like how do we how do we get Keepa where he needs to be? I think we push with Jasu to bait Kolokan, and we pray. Okay, prayer will not help us. We can't even encounter Kolokan really. I mean, I guess arguably this could make it faster. Nope. Kolokan, please stop baiting Keepa away from the goal. He will not score if he is not by the goal. I mean, sooner will be a fact where he doesn't have to be by the goal to score, but at this point, he needs to be by the goal to score. You know, Jasu tackle through. And then Bada do the exact same thing. Oh my gosh, Kula can get away from me. I hate everything. Um, see, this is what I'm talking about. Like, like how? Look at this. How does Bada get the ball away from him? Uh, get away. He's, he is such a bad player. He is, he is tragically awful. Um, he has less pass than Waka. What? What? Why? 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 It doesn't make any sense. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm raging is what I'm saying. It makes no sense and it fresh, it's frustrating. Um, Alright, well we're gonna encounter Waterbite. At least we can shoot past Waterbite. Unfortunately, this route's no longer withered, but we had a kind of a whole like, whole situation on the right side there where Bada would get the ball, lose the ball, and then we just do that for seven years. Uh, Colkin will claim the ball here. Uh, Nizrut's block is half, so unfortunately not a relevant stat for what we're trying to do right now. Tackle will come through from Jasu, thankfully. Jasu's also bad, but he just shines so much brighter because Bot is especially bad. You know what I mean? Like that's really <laughs> that's really what it comes down to. It's like Bada is also not good, but or sorry, Jasu is also not good, but Bada is so not good, he just makes Jasu look like the best player in the world. Catch is halved. Dean claims the ball. At least we got the wither on the catch. That's what we were looking for. Gonna have Waka here tackle through. If Waka steals this, this change the whole course. Jasu does learn his anti his uh, anti wither too. That's very good. Challenge comes through from Letty. Letty should be able to steal this. Oh, he is beautiful. And with Nizru withered. We should be able, in theory, to set it for an Oroch Spirit. I mean, granted, we could have done that beforehand, too. So, that's not really the reason why it's going to work. The reason it's going to work is because Waka's an animal. And there it is. 
So you're gonna have uh, Vora to push right side. Vora just pass is half. And there it is, 1-0 going into the second half. So Keepa originally has 29 shoot, I think. So let's see what it changes to. Oh yeah, 24 experience too, wow. That's good stuff. It's that Wither too. <gasps> 33, wow. Wowee. That's beautiful. Was it, he had 29 or 31? I forget. Anyway, she's got a lot more shoot. I think he actually had 31. And what does Keepa get for uh, techniques and such? Nizaru's still not rocking any sort of anti-wither, which I love. I'm a huge fan of, you know, withering opposing goalies. It's my favorite thing to do. He's going to Vorja with the ball. Vorja is going to push midfield here. The counter will come through from Jasu and Keepa. But the, oh man, tackle slips there. Vorja is gonna lose a technique here, which is nice. Endurance is halved, Vorja loses the technique. Get act absolutely deleted, Vorja. Thank you very much. Then the no break. Okay, this is, this is something else. I I can't even comprehend the, the calculus here. I don't know, man. All right, well, at least we can pass to Keepa and have Keepa go for the wither shot. It's the it's the small things, right? It's the small things. And catch is halved. Claimed by Kolkin, which is... I mean, it was going to be Kolkin or Dean. They're kind of both in a position to claim the ball. Kolkin will go for the pass here. Oh, and Bada blocks it. Not the player I want to block it, but okay. Kind of pull back a little bit here. The reason this is advantageous to pull back like this is because now Kiba's free. Now Kiba can again go for the wither shot. I know we're doing kind of long form wither shots, which is not particularly good because it there's not a high chance of scoring, but it does wither like 100% of the time just because we don't have to deal with any sort of encounter on our players. But yeah, we're gonna have uh, Jasu here tackle through, and then ideally I'll be able to pass to Bada like right after this. Let's see. Oh shoot. Um, oh no. Oh no, 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 no. This is bad, this is, bad. This is real bad. All right, we're gonna pass to Kiba. I'm 99% sure Kiba just loses the ball here, but like, let's go for it. Yep, this is. This is a keep a lost ball. What a shame. All right, Colkin, don't touch it. Ah, oh, dang it. All right, so Colkin, yeah, Colkin is able to touch the ball. Well, hey, at least we can uh, wither her again. Maybe we can bait her away with Jasu. The funny thing is Jasu also can't really encounter Colkin without danger. Or Dean, for that matter. Okay, okay, this, this is actually kind of... I hate, okay, this is bad. Oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> it's so bad. I, I, after I passed to Kiva, I thought the, I thought the pass would be reduced drastically low or blocked outright. So I passed to Kiva, but it would have made infinite more sense to just pass to Waka. Like, like, screw it, man, right? Like, just give it to Waka, it'll be fine. Come on, please, please. There's no way. Yeah, Nizrud's no longer withered. I mean, what a waste of a half. I mean, at least we got a lot of experience for Keepa. In addition, we probably got a bonkers amount of experience for Jasu, if I'm honest. I haven't checked, but you know, well, I mean, obviously we can't really check. We just gotta wait till the half is over. Just gonna have Waka here tackle through. Dean's gonna pass to Larbite. Oh, Larbite could actually tie up this game. There is 30 seconds left. 
Are they going to force this into an overtime? Are they going to be jerks about this? To be fair, I don't think that changed much. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Alright, well the uh, the kill could beast. I mean they they force the the overtime. Good for them. It is gonna be one one and Bada's gonna be doing something back there. I don't know what he's doing. A little bit of experience for them, a little bit for us. 23. 23 for Keepa. That's a good amount. Good for Keepa. Overtime it is. Four just still has no technique. All right, I think I think we just go in here for blood. I, we're not gonna lose the game. We're not here for Keepa. Not here for the Kill of Beast. We're here for victory. That's all that matters. Doesn't matter what's in our way. Doesn't matter who's on our team. All right, so let's push like this. Ooh, gonna get in the encounter early. I see. Pass to Keepa. This can's endurance is half. We're gonna pull back a little bit here. Pass to Waka. Guess we'll break Borgia. Have the Oroch Spirit ready to fire off. No guarantee this makes it, but fingers crossed. not make the goal, but Nizarud's snoozing, so the opportunity is there. If Jasu's in this encounter and a tackle, oh no, no, it's over. What? No, 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 no. How did that tackle not work? How did that tackle not work? We're gonna lose this game. We are genuinely, genuinely gonna lose this game. That's insane. All right, everyone encounter, everyone encounter, everyone encounter. Oh my gosh, yes, yes, this is good, this is good, this is good. Gossy tackles through. Bada tackles through. Auto with the shot. Oh my gosh, that was intense. I can't believe that took so much. A little bit of experience for them, a little bit for us. I am so, I am so, so, that was scary. Wait, what? Jasu, <laughs> Jasu hit level 98 and got nothing. <laughs> I've never seen this happen before. Jasu hit level 98 and got nothing. Oh, nothing. Oh, that sucks. Oh, man. All right. Well, we 2-1 the Kilika Beast, and then Glory's 2-0 the Ronto Fangs. That is rough. That's funny. All right. We're going to choose Jasu here. There it is. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and when you come back, we're going to be playing more Blitzball. Till next time.